A lot of you might have seen this magic in a magic show where the magician takes a ball tied to a thread which normally falls freely like this but suddenly it starts following your command. Stop! 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 So would you be interested to know the science behind this magic? So what we are going to do today is we will understand the science behind this and in fact we are also going to create the same thing but instead of using a ball we are going to use a transparent container so that we can actually see what's happening inside. So let's get started. So we take a plastic sheet, considerably a thick plastic sheet and this is the transparent plastic container that we would be using. So the first thing that we have to do is we need to cut a circular sheet from this plastic sheet in this shape. So we just take a measurement of this circle. Now an important thing to be noted is when you choose the container make sure that it is in the shape of a cylinder that is the width here and the width here should be the same approximately. So now let's cut this circle from the sheet. Now we have to make a hole at the center of the top of this container and the center of the bottom of the container. So let's do that. For that we heat this divider in the candle flame and when it is hot enough then we make a hole. So now you see the way we have created the two holes. The two holes are lying along the same line. Now we take the green sheet that we had cut before and also make a hole in this. Now here you need to remember that you are not supposed to make the hole at the center. You have to make a hole which is quite away from the center. Maybe somewhere along the radius, neither at the center nor at the boundary, somewhere in between. So let's do that. So we got a hole on this green sheet. What we plan to do now is we want to place this green sheet inside this container somewhere at the center. So let's try to do that. So we see when we try to place it, it falls down to the bottom. So it's quite challenging to make it sit at the center of the container. So to keep to make that simple, we create a stand for this green sheet. So we make use of three erasers on which we have put some cello tape. So we will place this erasers on the walls of the container like this. While making the stand, make sure that the three erasers should be placed at equidistant from each other. So this is how you have built a stand. We next plan to pass a thread to, through all these three holes that we have created. So let's get started. So to make it simple what we have done is we have put the thread inside a needle so that it becomes easy for us to pass it through the holes. So first we pass it to, through the bottom of the container then we pass it through the green sheet and then we pass it through the lead of the container. But just to make sure that the thread doesn't come out of any of these holes, what we do is we are going to tie paper clips on both the ends of the thread. So this is our paper clip. So we put it at one end and tie it here. Similarly, we do it for the other end as well. Our next step is to place this green sheet inside the container. We have already made a stand and one more important thing is make sure that the thread remains straight. So just to ensure that it is tight enough, let's put a cello tape. So now you see the central plate is very tightly fixed at the center of the container. So now we can close the lead of the container. So 
So now our setup is ready. Let's see if this works. So when we leave the wire loose, we see that the container falls freely, which is the normal behavior. But will this follow our command? Let's check. So we tighten the wire and we could make the container static at a point. Let's give some command. Start, stop. Start, stop. Start, stop. So this works exactly the way we wanted the ball to work or we were seeing the ball to work. Now let's try to understand the science behind this magic. Observe inside the container very carefully. What do you see? That we have made it very sure that all the three holes, they do not lie along the straight line. So if you see the top and the bottom hole, they lie along the straight line, but the central hole, it has been deviated from the center. So therefore, these three holes, which have been made in such a way that a lock gets created inside the container. Now, when we make the wire tight, so what happens when we tighten the wire, basically the wire kind of becomes less flexible. It behaves like a rod and therefore the hole which is there at the center plate, the hole is not able to make the wire pass through it. So you see how at the center plate, the green plate, the two wires have created an angle amongst each other and because of which they are not able to pass through the hole and it gets stuck and therefore it stops. What happens when we loosen the wire? The moment we loosen the wire, the container falls down. So what actually happens is, when we keep the wire loose, it is more flexible. So the wire somehow changes its shape and somehow it makes its way through all the three holes and that is why it falls down. By now you would have understood that the trick behind this magic lies in the plate inside the container. So if you want to show this magic and amaze your friends, what you can do is you can wrap it with a sheet of paper so that you know you can hide the actual magic inside. So wrap this paper using cello tape and now when you look at it, it actually looks like the magic container because nobody knows what's there inside. If you enjoyed this magic container, please make it yourself and amaze your friends with this and also let us know your feedback. Like and share the video, subscribe to our channel to get daily updates. Thank you.